Well, hello and welcome to the CAD tutorial channel. Um, today we're going to be working on a exploded view of our previous video, which was the planetary gear. Uh, we created this planetary gear and added all the constraints in the assembly model and then brought it over to Dynamic Sim and made it function. So this feature is a little less known in the inventor world, but uh, it's a pretty interesting one. And uh, we're going to see how it works today. Uh, a reminder, please subscribe to our channel to see more exciting videos like this uh, in any of the CAD softwares out there. And uh, if you have any ideas for other videos, uh, just leave it in the comments and we'll go ahead and make those. In the last video, we had some comments about uh, doing some more dynamic sim. So that is in our workflow now and uh, we'll be getting some of those out uh, for you guys. All right, so this is the assembly file here. We're going to pop up to the file and go new. And we're going to come all the way down here to the bottom where it says presentation and do a standard IPN uh, file. In there, it's going to ask us to open up an assembly file. So we'll open up our planetary gear we just have. And we have a little different layout to our screen. We have this uh, storyboard down here at the bottom. We have a browser over here, and then we have our main display of our window. Okay, there's really a, only a couple different things we can do in here, but uh, they're pretty interesting. What we're basically going to do is start to pull these parts away from the assembly so that they can come back in some uh, order and time. And we do that through uh, tweaks here. So if I go ahead and pick the tweak button, I get this uh, pop-up menu. And I can pick my part. And then I have a choice between move and rotate. We're going to be doing some moves. And then I have a little... Uh, directional arrows here and I can just pick the arrow and then give it a minus value so I'm going to just move that way off in the distance Let's say 15 I have a purple line in here which is a tail I'm going to tell it no tails Not needed for what we're doing here today, but if you are doing an exploded view and you wanted to add it in to your uh, documents, then we would probably want our tails. All right, so our first part has been moved and it comes down in our storyboard. I'm going to take our next part and do the same thing. And just kind of get a flow to it. Move it, 15. Okay. And then I'm going to do our ring, move that off 15. And then we'll just keep moving these off. This one minus 15. Okay. Next part, so I'm going to do together. So I'm going to take all these gears and highlight them. And I'll tweak them in this direction at 15. And we'll see what the difference is on that. Do this one next. And this one next. We'll repeat that on this round. So I'll highlight all four planet gears. Now the planet holder. And 
the sun. Okay, the last set. All right, so our screen is clear and our storyboard is coming along here. So each of our movements is going to last two seconds. If we don't like that, we could just change the value and shrink it or expand it out for it. We'll do one second on it and I'll just keep moving these to to make the adjustment. Again, this is personal preference. On how long you want it to run. Okay, I'll leave these run a little longer in time, just so I don't waste your time showing you these. Because we have a couple other things I'd like to show you today. All right, so we're about 20 seconds in length. And then we'll go ahead and take a look at what how this is playing. So we're going to play it from the beginning. And so we'll see how it's pulling itself apart. All right, so that's fairly interesting. But in reality, the way that I kind of pulled this all apart, the best way for us to run it is backwards. We want to see the assembly coming together. So let's do it that way with the second button here, playing it backwards. So we're going to bring those gears in first. We'll see how it builds up. And that's not too bad. I'm pretty happy with that, except for our, we need to make some adjustments on our time and uh, shrink that up a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to come back to the beginning here. And I'm going to add a few other features in here. And really, this is up to your own imagination on, on that. Let me take this handle. I'm going to add another tweak to it. But this time I'm going to do a rotate, and then I'm going to pick which direction I want to rotate it in, and it'll be this one. And we'll say 720 degrees. Okay. All right, so in that particular gear, I have this rotate. You can tell the difference with it. So let's go ahead and shrink that up.
So now it's going to move and rotate at the same time in that first second. Okay, so we'll just see it playing forward. So there we see it rotating as it's coming in. All right, I'm going to pause it and come back to the beginning. And we're going to take these four gears here and we'll do the same thing to them. So let's move our player over. Okay, so I'll add another tweak. And I'm going to pick these guys. And we'll switch to rotate right there. And we'll make them 720 degrees as well. Make it for one second. Hopefully that speed up our next process. So here we can see the four gears and they have two functions with an arrow. I pull the arrow down. I can see both are going to happen at the same time. So that's what we would hope to see. Okay, so let's go ahead and watch that play out. So we got our one piece. Okay, so our rotation was a little weird on those. And we may have to make an adjustment. So to make an adjustment, we'll just take and delete those, rotate out. Go ahead and do it by hand. So it's one second. Pick our part. Rotate. And we'll repeat. Make sure we keep them in line, that they're happening at the same time. One more. Okay, so let's see how this plays. We'll come back to the beginning. And we got our handle rotating. We got other parts moving. And then here the gears were spinning. So let's pause it. Let's run it backwards from here. So we haven't done anything with those on the rotations. So here comes the planet. Everything's spinning. If it's spinning too fast, just make it take a little longer to accomplish its goals so that you get yourself a nice, clean video. So through the tweaks of rotation and move, we can make ourselves a pretty exciting, exploded view coming together. This is great for presentations, uh, video presentations, showing people that may not necessarily uh, understand engineering and engineering technology like marketing departments and that and let them go ahead and see the parts coming together and how it's going to function um, but we need to be able to get this out so that they can see it so that's fairly easy to do we can come up here to the top where it says video once we have really cleaned this all up and made it look really nice we can change our view to perspective. 
We could add shadows and reflections to make sure that we're really showing. We can add our lights, we can add our textures. We can get all this nice and clean. So that's a great video shot. And once we get all that taken care of, we can finally go ahead and make a video. Now the video is going to be with our current storyboard. We're going to reverse it going from so that it comes together. Our current window size is fine, or we can define the size that we want to output. I like to go with AVI files, but that's up to you. And then I go ahead and do Microsoft Video Compression. And uh, I bring that value down a little. Probably 50 today. Okay, so it's going to go ahead and publish our movie. And then it's an AVI file. We can bring it over and convert it into an MP4 or, or whatnot and add other videos like our dynamic sim of it functioning so that we can really make a great presentation to illustrate this assembly model. Okay, and that's it. I hope you enjoyed uh, this quick look at using uh, Inventor's presentation. And you give this a try and make some exploded assemblies. Uh, again, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. And if you have some ideas for some other videos, or you'd like me to go further in depth into this presentation uh, features of Inventor, please leave those in the comments, and I'll be more happy to do that. Thank you.